Hi guys and welcome to today's video which is going to be all about the harvester ants and the black garden ants that I have. I figured I would do the update for both of them in one because really there isn't a really big update with the black garden ants but I still wanted to let you know on a few things. So with the harvester ants as you can see they are currently moving the whole brood into the dark area. This happens pretty much all the time. I actually left a time lapse on them and they they seem to do it quite often. I don't know if they do it because the reaction to light, obviously I've just put a lamp on now, or maybe they're moving them and cleaning the area then moving them back. I don't know, they seem to do a lot of cleaning which is pretty normal for ants anyway. My one concern with this particular test tube they're living in is the water's running out very rapidly and so I'm either going to have to offer them a water tower or somehow get them to move into something else so I can replenish the water in the test tube. Now talking about moving into something else, they haven't moved into their gypsum nest which is rather large and a lot of people concerned it was too big. Although um, the people at Ants Kingdom said it's totally fine. I have actually been offered a new sort of smaller nest and this is from a different company and I think they're sending me it out and it would be good to have them move into a smaller op like a smaller little nest for like first time and I could sort out their test tube and then eventually they'll move into the gypsum nest I'm sure um, but at the moment they are growing very rapidly as you can see their brood is doing very well we have all kinds of things we have eggs larvae pupae now the pupae interestingly i have found there hasn't been any typical ones with the cocoons they've mainly all been just uh really pale ants so basically pupae without the cocoons um which is fine because it's actually quite interesting to see them develop one thing i have noticed with the harvester ants in comparison to the lassius nigers is they are far more active so if you were debating which ones to get and you really didn't know I'll be honest, I'd probably, probably recommend the harvester ants. They're bigger, far more active, and they do a lot of foraging, which can be quite interesting. For example, I put in a bunch of new seeds in their arena, and by the morning, they had moved them all into their tubes. That's the other thing, though. The tubes are full of seeds. Now, some of you guys probably have had harvester ants for a long time, so I'm wondering whether I should just leave them as they are and they'll clean them out themselves, or whether I should do anything, because it is really piling up. Um, their outworld definitely needs a clean, because that is food they've left, and, you know, they've had it a while, it's getting a little bit dirty out there, you know what I'm saying. But, um, as for their tubes, that's a little bit more difficult for me to sort out, so I don't know if whether to just leave it for them but overall they seem to be doing really well and I would definitely recommend this species of ant and as soon as I get the other little uh, nest for them I'll do another video on them and give you another update but now over to the Lassius Nigers. So basically this is their two year anniversary I've had this queen two years and right now they can be thought of as both dead and alive. That's why I like to refer to them as my Schrodinger's ants. Because basically I don't really see them. They have become more and more secretive or more and more dead. Who knows? But one thing that makes me think they are still alive is I've noticed some tunnels. And this is something like we always want to see. We want to see the ants create natural tunnels. But of course they're slightly difficult to see because this is very dark soil. If we look along here, I'm not sure if you're going to see, but there will be darker bits. It's going to be out of focus, it's going to be very annoying. But basically, there's a tunnel coming here, there's a tunnel coming here. And when we look over here somewhere, they lead down here. Yeah, this isn't a great example because obviously the soil is kind of like pretty dark, but my best theory is that the ants are tunnelling but they are making their main nest inside so this is it's not the thickest of nests but okay I don't know how well I can say it. it's fairly hefty and definitely enough room for a small nest to form and be well hidden 
So that's what I think they're doing and I think the tunnels we see around the edges are just their little pathways they have formed but I'm hoping that's the case and hopefully they haven't all died. 